Let's imagine that we're all inhabitants of other planets. Sound like a distant dream far, far away? Well, that dream could soon be a near future reality. A research team based in the Netherlands is helping to create this idea, all with the help of AI technology and 3D printing. Well, we have been working on a project funded by a European Space Agency uh, for a year now, and we developed an approach to 3D print habitat, hands to answer more precisely your questions. Let's say we have a proof of concept at this moment in time. From 2030, NASA has stated its mission to send the first crew to Mars. However, before we start colonizing Mars, scientists need to prepare shelters for astronauts. The Technical University in Delft is currently developing a concept to create an underground habitat using the latest 3D printing technology. We speculated that the first steps definitely would be so that the crew would actually live in the spaceship. The next step would be basically how uh, we identify the, the caves, and then uh, we lower materials and equipment that we need into the uh, lava tube and start uh, 3D printing. From the data collected by rovers, it seems large parts of Mars are covered with volcanic underground tunnels. Humans can take advantage of these existing structures for future living. Underground is, let's say, offers protection uh, that is necessary on Mars because, uh, as we all know, the environment is very harsh. And initially we, we proposed an idea to drill and dig, so to say, in the soil and create an underground habitat. During this uh, research, we identified the possibility to build in empty lava tubes. So, how will it work? Many scouting rovers will be flown to Mars. Different robots with specific tasks will land on the planet, including the autonomous mobile robots. Their task is to dig into the ground to create spiral structures. But how can we control this construction from Earth? The answer? Voice commands. The technology that we developed was a human-robot interaction-based approach. The idea is that we 3D print components that have a size allowing rovers with a robotic arm and humans to transport them to the correct location. But what about the energy needed to produce the structure? Right now, scientists plan with kite power, which uses Mars's strong wind and an endless source of renewable energy with a low environmental footprint. Let's say for the 3D printing, we really are interested in reducing taking materials from Earth to a minimum. In some cases, there is some uh, necessity to, to take materials from Earth. The advantage of the kite system is that it's a membrane, so it's a relatively uh, small, let's say, quantity of material that is needed. So, can we truly say when we'll be living on Mars? Well, while we wait for the final phase of an Out of This World project, do you dream to live on the Red Planet? Let us know in the comments section.